Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about horizontal tangents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals 1 over x squared minus 1, and we want to find the points here where the tangent line to this function is horizontal. Now, I like to rewrite this to be y equals an x squared minus 1 to the negative 1 power, and that's only because I like taking the derivative of this. And that's really our first step, taking the derivative. So we find f prime of x here. Negative 1 comes down, keep the inside, x squared minus 1, exponent subtracts by 1, and we have a negative 2. Multiply that by the derivative of the inside, which is a 2x. Or, yeah, 2x. <laughs> oh, almost messed that one up. All right, simplifying this now, negative 1 times 2x is a negative 2x over here, our x squared minus 1 to the now positive 2 power in the numerator. All right, we have our derivative, and our derivative tells us the slope of the tangent line. And we want to find where this function is horizontal, aka where the slope of the tangent line is equal to 0. So we take our derivative, f prime of x, and it's equal to negative 2x over an x squared minus 1 squared, and we're seeing where it's equal to 0. Well, this is where the knowledge of rational functions is important. Our rational functions here, we know if we're dividing by 0, our function's undefined there. We can't do that. And so really, there's nothing that a denominator really can do to determine our function if it's equal to 0. So we just have to look at the numerator, negative 2x equals 0, and solve. Divide both sides by negative 2, and x equals 0. And that's the main point we're actually going to be working with. Just to double check that 0 doesn't cause the denominator to equal 0. 0 in the denominator, well, 0 squared minus 1 is a negative 1. We're good. And so 0 is the x value where we have our tangent line being horizontal, but we need to find the y value. So we start with our original function, let's call it f of x, put 0 in for x, and we're uh, seeing what the output is. So we have 1 over 0 squared minus 1. And again, make sure you plug it into our original function. Well, this comes out to be, well, 1 over negative 1, which is a negative 1. And so we have a coordinate point here, 0 comma negative 1. And that is where the tangent line of the function is horizontal. I hope this video is helpful for you. And if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.